Hello and welcome to Gadget Joe and today we're taking a look at Fairmiltech's brand new RGB Lumi strip and controller. We recently covered in detail the increasingly popular Ring Plus RGB fans in another video that showcased the controller unit. However, they have now made some changes and produced a brand new controller with more connectivity and utilisation. Before we dive into the details of a new controller, we're going to make this video a double feature and start by taking a look at the Pacific Lumi Plus LED strips. The Lumi Plus RGB strips are pretty much exactly what it says on the box. They are LED light strips that feature RGB lighting modes for your case to add that extra lighting wow factor. It doesn't end there though, as the Lumi Plus strips feature individually addressable LEDs, meaning you can control individual lights to your custom setup or through some preset modes. Unboxing the strips, you are presented with an LED cable that has one end with a 4 pin LED connector and the other end a connector for the controller. There are three of these. Next, you get a bag containing another section of cables from a bridge cable for daisy chaining multiple controllers with a micro USB connector on one end and controller connector on the other. A power cable with a Molex connector and again another controller connection. This particular cable features a very nice braided sleeve that is both strong and aesthetically pleasing. And last but not least, you get the controller cable which is used to connect the controller to the motherboard to synchronise via the USB 2 header on the board and then connecting via micro USB to the controller. You then get to the controller unit itself. And this is the same controller we mentioned earlier in the video that is reviewed in detail in the video that I will link below. The controller features 5 outputs for, for assorted Thermaltake LED products. Multiple ports for power, synchronising and daisy chaining. Last but not least we move on to the strips themselves. The strips each house 12 addressable LEDs, laid out evenly on a black backing and coated with a soft clear silicon. They feel well made, sturdy and well constructed and the clear coating will give them a level of protection against water spills, which in a system that is likely to house a custom loop makes perfect sense. One end of a strip houses the fan connector pins and the other the female fan connections. On the back of the strips you get some 3M sticky tape for securing the strips to a fixed position when mounted. The adhesive is very strong so should withstand a fair bit of movement. What's more is that the strips are all magnetic so they can simply stick to the metal sides of your case. The magnets are strong and even work through the adhesive strip with the backing on. Connecting the fans up to the controller is simple. You take the end with the four pins and simply slide it onto the connector onto your LED cable and then the end of this slots straight into the controller and you're good to go. Connecting extra strips is as simple as repeating the same steps and again plugging into the controller. However, you can of course join the strips together and use one slot on the controller with the same effect. The bridge cable that is used for connecting this controller to another controller simply plugs into this port here and the micro USB into the other controller. Power comes in the form of Molex and simply connects right into here and then connects to a Molex supply from the PSU. Operating the Lumi strips is super simple and all it requires is a software that is available free on the Thermaltake website. Search Ring Plus and then download the latest version. We will touch on this a little later in the video as this time round we are doing away with a 5 port controller that we just looked at included with the Lumi strips and instead we are going to be looking at the Thermaltake's latest RGB controller the TT Sync Controller Premium Edition. Let's start by checking out what's in the box. In the box you get not one but three PWM cables, the controller itself, a Gigabyte Signal Bridge and an ASUS and MSI Signal Bridge cable, the instructions and a Velcro sticky pad. Starting with the PWM cables, you get a PWM cable that connects to the motherboard via a PWM connector header on the board. This allows the software to recognise the devices and the other end fits into the controller. There are three of these in the box. The cable labelled with D is a signal bridge cable that allows the controller to plug onto the appropriate LED header on selected gigabyte boards. Cable C is another signal bridge cable that can be connected to selected ASUS or MSI boards. The Velcro sticky pad is to mount the controller onto your case. 
The controller itself is now much flatter with a, with a larger footprint. This is to house the extra connections. The new premium sync controller has supports for up to 9 LED devices with 3 ports on either side. The casing is nice and sturdy and is a matte black plastic that should blend in with most cases nicely. There is an additional cable coming out from the controller that houses the power via a SATA connector. When you compare it to the previous model you can see that it does indeed have a larger footprint. However it is much slimmer, almost half the thickness in fact. One major difference is the added number of ports on each side for more device support without the need for additional controllers. When it comes to connecting the controller to the motherboards there are some factors that are very important to consider. The first and possibly most important is that to operate the new RGB controller you will need an appropriate motherboard that houses an RGB addressable header so that you can connect the signal bridge cables. Boards without the addressable RGB headers will not work in powering up the lights to the connected devices. The headers must look like this. This table shows you the current supported list of boards as of right now. However, this list will only naturally increase. This does not mean, however, that the Lumistrix will not work on other boards. It just means, for those of you that don't have these boards, they will have to use the included 5 port controller in the box. Moving back to the new controller, connecting it up is as simple as following some basic steps. To begin with, you connect the components into the ports. The dot on the top is classed as a number 1. So you begin with this port and follow it through. If you are connecting just for Lumi strips, then insert the cable in number 1. If you are using other devices, you need to insert those before the Lumi strips. So for example, ring fans first, then Lumi strips last. It is important to always insert the Lumi strips last. Once you have completed this, you connect the PWM cable onto the motherboard 4 pin PWM header and the other end into here on the controller. Now you connect the correct signal bridge cable onto your motherboard's RGB addressable header and the other end into the controller. Now that you have done this, you can now connect your power to the SATA power cable. Install the correct software needed, of which I will link down below. The software will look a little like this. Controlling the lighting modes is simple and requires that you have a first ring fan as the main control for synchronising the modes. Select on the other tiles, copy colour as you can see here, and this will allow any changes made to the lighting modes to match across all the units. The Lumi strip is seen on the left here, and as you can see it shows each individual addressable LED across this arch here. Flicking through the cycles is as simple as clicking here. We start with flow, which flows through the RGB spectrum. Next we have the RGB spectrum itself, which changes the whole lights through the colours. You can set speeds from slow to extreme. Next is ripple, which causes a ripple effect of light across the strips and fans. Blink simply causes the lights to blink. Pulse gives off an almost heartbeat effect. Wave cycles through the lights in a wave pattern. Full lighted lights for whole units. Thermal shows the colours that matches the system temperature. Cross creates two lights that cross each other from side to side. Shooting Star gives off a very impressive shooting style light show that grows across the strips and fans as if it would across the sky. Black Hole is effectively a reverse of the shooting star mode. Aurora is one of the more visually stunning modes as it creates a light show that is almost like travelling through a galaxy.
These have a preset lighting modes that are enabled through the software and as you can see they have an incredibly diverse range that can allow you to completely customise your lighting with your system. There are of course three modes that I've missed out and these are the sound controls. So whether you're listening to a song, playing a game, watching a video or talking to someone over Skype, the lights will react to the sound that is produced to give you an extra dimension and a real impressive light show. Here is an example of how they work. As you can see in this video there are a whole plethora of lighting options available for your system when using the Lumi strips with the new sync controller. Not only can you control the ring fans and the Lumi strips but you can control their flow, AIO, CPU block and radiator fan lightings, RGB PSU ranges, water cooling blocks and much more. When they are all set together you get a real eye catching setup that is sure to get everybody talking. This functionality and diversity along with the stunning light modes has awarded the Thermaltake Lumi Strips and Sync Controller a Gadget Show Gold Award. The controller also features voice control which allows you to control the lighting modes of the system via an app on the Android or iOS by simply saying certain voice commands. However, we have a full RGB build utilising this AI system and the lighting modes that will be released in a video in the following weeks. So be sure to subscribe to ensure you don't miss out on that. As always, I will link the Lumi strips and the controller down in the description below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and let me know down in the comments what your thoughts of the Lumi strips and controller are. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button for much more like this and ensure you become part of the ever-growing Gadget Joe T. And that pretty much wraps it up for me for now. So until the next one, it's goodbye from me.